uh, with a couple of decisions in my book. Um, we're on the. Um, yeah, well, that was one. There's quite a few others. You know, the no try to Ricky Latelli. Um, you know, the bunker has got to have sufficient evidence that that ball didn't cut the ground. I watched every replay. Um, brave call to say that the ball didn't definitely didn't touch the ground. He's got to have sufficient evidence to overrule the referee. So there's one. The Moylan one. Uh, Matty Pryor one. Uh, there was a tackle on Jordan Kahu where he lurched forward in the first half. There's just too many of them, you know. And if we're on the receiving end last week, and we're on the opposite this week. Brave tried really hard. Um, effort. Give him a tick for that. We didn't execute great, but um, yeah, they're the reasons why we didn't win. Oh wow! Well, um, I don't think it was one of Andrew's better games at all. Um, so. That's your opinion of Andrew's game. That's nice, but um, in his standards and our standards, it wasn't one of his better ones. <coughs> what did you like about uh, well, I'll just keep that. I'll work with Andrew on those. Clearly, clearly. Um, there's got to be enough evidence to over, overturn the on-field decision that the ball never touched the ground. And I think you know any fair judge would find it hard to find sufficient evidence to overrule that on-field decision. So, yeah. So we just, you know, it's last week. As I said, we were on the positive end last week. We're on the negative end this week. It's a concern for the for the game and. I you know that refereeing standard today wasn't up to scratch. Oh, look, they, they, what, they looked at it how many times, you know? 20 times, I don't know how many times. So, uh, looking and looking, that, that looked that many times to try to find sufficient evidence. As Flano said, it, it didn't touch a blade of grass, but, you know, I'll, I'll let Flano worry about that. <clears throat> I thought, as Flano said, we were really brave. We, you know, we should have got that done. Um, had opportunities to back into the game and you know, did, didn't execute, so I'll leave you with that. Uh, the last you know, couple of back to bat sets on the line right at the end, do you think that was the, that was the moment for you? Yeah, look, I, yeah, got to, got to give them a bit of credit. They defended well, um, but <clears throat> we didn't execute. You know, Chatty Townsend's under enormous pressure. We're not listening to him at times. and. Um, yeah, we, we, we should have got that done. Um, a, that's a hard loss because I, I think we should have won. But we haven't, so I'm um, just got to get back on the bike next week and hopefully get the win and put, put, learn from it and put it behind us. Yeah, I thought, as I said, I thought we competed really hard and were brave. Um, you, know, you know, we can execute better with the ball, um, but you know, give credit to the Broncos the way they defended. I suppose, um, you know, in the end, we should have kicked that goal. It might have been 12 all. Who knows? We might have gone to Golden Point and lost it in Golden Point, won it in Golden Point. It might it would have changed the game, the way it was played in the last 10 minutes. So you, you don't know uh, what would have happened then. So, as Gail said, we'll just um, we have to move on. That's footy. You know, we're as I said, keep saying we're on the receiving end last week and we're on the other end this week, and that's that's the frustrating part. Yeah, about, he's in good form and, and that's what he's there, that's try scoring and um, you know, he was one of our better players tonight. I thought he was in the right spot at the right time and got the job done. Thank you.